George was in such a hurry to get his toy boat that he didn't notice the beavers had less water now. The beavers knew whatever stopped their water had to be upstream. George's dam was ruined. The beavers, they did this. Building a dam twice in one day was hard work. At last, nothing could stop George from boating now. George didn't mind rain. It meant his pond would be bigger tomorrow when he brought Bill to see it. <laughs> okay, George, I'm coming, I'm coming. <gasps> George, a dam calls for two important elements. Proper construction and water. Those beavers, of course. They must be behind this. <laughs> this isn't good. The water's important to the beaver's home. <laughs> there must be something wrong up the creek past your dam. <laughs> George saw the problem. That fallen tree was acting just like a dam. We're going to need someone strong to move this. You're coming back, aren't you? Leslie? There's a proper way to... I'm explaining to a cow. Move! Yes! <laughs> What's wrong? They should be happy. <gasps> that water built up so much force, it's wrecking what's left of your dam. <laughs> oh no, the beaver dam! George and Bill watched the beavers work together to defend their home against the raging waters. Look! Pieces of your dam! George wondered if he needed a pond for his toy boat as much as the beavers needed their home. didn't even miss his old perfect pond. But he was probably gonna need Mrs. Rankins to build more boats. <laughs> <laughs> 